All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. So glad to have you here. We are actually going to analyze my own gameplay today. Uh, I played in a Clash Cup with my friends, and I went 15-0 and 0 on Lux, and I want to just break down how I played the champion that way, why it's so easy for me to have such high kill games and low deaths, and um, talk to you about positioning and why I'm able to pop off. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget, we do encourage physical activity on our channel. So... For every kill that I got, you guys do some push-ups. For every assist that we got, you guys do some squats. So right now we are in the laning phase. Um, I'm I'm pretty good friends with two of these guys, and then um, the other two are like friends of them. So I have a good relationship with all the guys that I played with, and uh, we actually ended up winning the Clash Club we, Cup. We didn't play in a very high division. I say that because the the division that I'm playing in right now, like I'm currently Silver Three, working on a series to climb up. Um, for the how to get out of low elo series I've I've never peaked above gold three, but I never really cared enough to like league is such a toxic system But this season I decided to and I'm putting together some content So you, sh you guys should go check out those videos, but anyway, um, I think it's a little bit slow here Let's actually just move a little more forward and see if I've picked up a kill yet. How do I tell here? Does it tell me? Where does it say my kills? I haven't used this before. How do I display this? Hold up. Let me, let me, let me, uh... Let me go here, uh... Scoreboard. Alright, let's push this up. Okay, so... Alright, so... We're back here. Now I know what I'm doing. So I still don't have a kill. Let's see if I can move this around. So I am out CSing the Ari pretty well. Um, Lux is also a really hard champion to CS on. If you guys didn't know that, you have to learn how to play here pretty well. So I don't get anything going for a little while. I, I stay high on CS. I kind of stay back. I try not to push as much unless I know I'm going to get a kill. With this being a... Uh, a competitive event I I try to take my time and make sure that we know where Vi is at at all times where the laners are and even so like if we don't have vision I just don't play up so I back and uh, I can't remember what it is I buy I think I had enough to buy the lost chapter here so I think I bought a last a lost chapter and a pink ward yeah and then a potion so we'll we'll skip ahead a little bit here to like uh, let's move up here. Alright, and then go back to me. So, we have picked up a kill. Oh, we have picked up a kill. Let's go back and watch that. Where did I pick up a kill? I think I picked up a kill on buy. Alright, manual camera. Let's look at me. Oh, well. Guys, it would help if I knew how to play this thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, so I think I think bottom started to get into a fight, and as I was getting ready to back, I noticed. So I rotated over. No. I guess I just ran straight from bottom. Yeah, that's what we did. Alright, let me... Uh... Alright, so we run the mid lane. Yeah, and then I start going bottom side because I see that. I come down here. I pick up a kill with uh, my alt. Alright, change this. There we go. So I pick up a kill with my alt. So now I'm 1 0. I've got pretty good CS. Let's take a look at that again. I wish I knew how to take this down. So I'm at 56 compared to 42 at 7 minutes. That's not bad. Um, I will tell you this as the game goes on because I roam so much and try to get so many kills with her I uh, I tend to get lower CS and then on top of that like I'm playing with an Irelia Sivir So it's almost impossible whenever we group for me to get anything because Sivir just pushes and then I really accuse everything So I have a kill up. I have a pretty good CSing advantage. I'm at 60 at 730. That's pretty high. Oh, I missed the cannon. I, I missed so many cannons in this tournament. I'm trying to think of what we did here. I want to say... 
No, they weren't. They, they should be ganking bottom here because of how far bottom is up. I think I killed her here. Oh no, I just put some damage on her. So we know the Vi's coming in. I think I knew that. Because, yeah, I have awarded. Or no, I don't. I think I still killed her. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I died here. Yeah, I killed her. <laughs> so she was really mad about that. Um, and thus, this is where it starts. I think I, z I zoned out um, the Ari here, maybe. No, I didn't. Okay, so I, I backed. Let's fast forward through all this. I backed. We're back in lane. Oh, don't slow it down that much. Um, so we're back in lane. We picked up a blasting wand and boots for that mobility. We've got blue buff on us so we can spam more. I, I hit my skill shots really well on Lux. That's why I play her so well. That's why I enjoy her. So we're at 75 CS at a 9 minute mark, which is pretty good. It's pretty solid. Um, that's a, a round of target score you'd like to hit. I would say probably 75 to 80 is good for 10 minutes. Oh, I hit her. She had to ult out of that. So that's the kind of pressure that you can create if you're capable of hitting your uh, skill shots on lock. She had to ult out of my um, my ult. I could have pressed it a little bit sooner. I was a little slow on that. So now I have three mid. I think I end up seeing the Seraphine. That's why I, that, that, that's why I should have been hugging this wall over here. Yeah. So that's why I end up hugging that wall over there because I know that that side's probably warded. I can't tell if I see it or not. I don't think I do, but I, I knew that they were on that side. So it was much better than having to sort of like waste my flash or hopefully hit a Q on two people. Um, so we're bullying the Ari pretty hard. 85 CS to 68. We've got two kills. She has one death or one assist. I think I actually hit a Q here and then I'm able to kill someone. Yeah, I, I think I killed her. Oh no, I didn't have did I I didn't have my ult up, did I? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> um, so let's see. We let them die there. This game was probably our closest game, I think. We The second game, the team forfeited. And the third game, we just demolished them hard. They had no objectives. I didn't do amazing. I, I think I was like 4-0 and 3. I only died two times in this tournament. I'm an extremely safe player, especially if it's coming to like competitive. I just If I have a team... Even in normal solo queue, I don't die often, but here, like, if I can communicate and I know where they are, I just, I just play ultra safe. So I'm trying to remember. We're still up 12 CS, so she started to catch up a little bit, but that's because I've been having to, like, focus on helping fighting, and... I think I'm staying here to finish my Ludens. Um, there's no vision, there are no objectives particularly, so right now we're trying to focus on just laning. Um, we may rotate at some point to try and take a tower. Let's let's look through this. So nothing fighting, nothing fighting, nothing fighting. Lots of farming. All right, so we rotate bottom lane. We're coming down here. Let's drop this so we can see the fight. I come in, pick up a kill. I think I I'm able to get another kill here. Okay, no. So I get a single kill. So we pick up a single kill. We know the dragon's about to come up, so we're we're uh, we're we're trying to not let them zone us out of it because it's a one v two. So see, it is relatively close. It's five to seven here. The dragon's gonna be up. I don't know how to see that the timer on it, but it's gonna be up really soon. And I, I don't want to give it to them for free, so we're trying to contest it. Alright, let's uh, speed it up a little bit, get back to a fight. So we put down the we put down the Rift Herald there, and then we start fighting the dragon. I think I pick up a, a few more kills here. See how I always play so far back, and my vision is really good before I move? Like, I'm playing super far back because that's how this champion is designed. So right now, there's a Seraphine dead. Did I kill her? I did not. Okay. We'll, we'll watch this way. So I am playing super far back, making sure that my squishy or that my tanks are in front of me. 
We know that they're on this, and there's only one trap here, so we can definitely go around it. Um, I I think I killed the Fiora. Yeah. So my E is putting out tons of damage. If they walk forward, they have to go into my Q. I step in front to take that shot for them. They might try to go here on me. I but the re so the reason that I flashed back here. The reason that I flashed back there was so that if she followed me, she was deeper out here by herself, and I knew that she couldn't kill me by herself. So we came out of that okay. Um, I want to say that we did get the dragon. How do you tell on this? No, they got the dragon. They got the dragon. I still haven't died. So let's go back to me. Running back mid lane. I think we just farm and farm and farm and farm and farm. And then we see over here we're competing for the Rift Herald. So I come over here. I think I ended up picking up the Vi here. Yeah, I picked up the Vi. I have to be careful because the RA hits the charm on me. But she doesn't have the damage really to kill me. So I just zone her out and put some damage down on my own. Um, what else is happening? So yeah, I see the Braum being able to push him up, so I, I'm not super scared of it. I believe we end up diving her. Because, like, it's like really a Braum and Lux. If she stays, she's dead, yeah. So he tries to dive, but we didn't follow up. He went a little far, and, and this Q didn't kill one of the minions, so he ends up going down. We put some pressure on this turret. I can't remember if we take it or not. No, so we don't take it. I back... Alright, what's coming up next? So he's trying to take the Rift Herald as Sedge. Oh, let's let's go back here. Let's go back here. No, that's not what we want. Alright, I, I think I picked up another kill, so let me go back just a hair. Alright, so we're coming down here to contest this. So we know that they're in a fight over it. Ah, couldn't quite get her. He should not have flashed in for that. And he recognized that as soon as it happened. So they end up taking their Rift Herald, I believe. Um, I don't know if it says. Let's see, does it say? I don't know how to tell. Okay. So we're still here. Um, I believe I'm 4-0 at this point. I don't think there's any fights yet. No fights yet. Dragon's gonna come up soon, so I have to stay and make sure I don't back for that. Or I have to back now immediately. So I guess I'm staying. I, at this point, I'm pretty strong. I have my Ludens and Sork Boots. I have a needlessly large wand. I think I went Horizon next, Horizon Focus. He's a little out of position there. He shouldn't be this far up alone. He could have been caught very easily. I think he did have quite a few deaths this game, yeah. He had he had a pretty solid amount. Um, so the dragon's up. That's why I'm positioning towards bot side here. So our Irelia TPs in. The Seraphine hits a good ult, but there's no one to follow up. So we pick up an immediate kill. Their Fiora starts to TP in. And we pick up the Caitlyn. Where am I? So here I am. I haven't picked up... I think I picked... I don't know that I picked up a kill in this fight. But we're going to be able to take this dragon pretty easily. I think, in fact, I catch one of these guys, too. So we know that they could possibly steal it. So we walk out here to zone, let them do the damage. And then I hit it. I hit another shot. I think I hit a stun on her again. I get one auto off, then I make sure I E. And then I wait till they get enough damage down. And then I pop my E so I get the kill. So we picked up the dragon. We unofficially aced them. I'm 7-0 at this point. I have decent farm, but it's not great. I really has really good farm. I pick up the blue. Um, so I back and I buy, yeah, Horizon Focus. Alright, so we, we push down that tower. 
I, I tried to rotate over here to see if their blue is up. It was not. Um, this is a bad fight if we took it, but if I can land a snare over here, I did not. Uh, so there's not really an objective to fight over at this point, but we are significantly strong. My, I, I myself am, so I know that I can put down a lot of damage, and they don't really have a tanky team. If you're a Lux and they don't have a tanky team, that's like your 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 favorite thing in the entire world because they're just going to die. So let's fast forward a little bit. We continue to try to push down mid. I think we catch the Seraphine maybe. See how I stay back so far because they have a, an Ari that can charm me. They have a Seraphine. They have a Violt. So we just shove in mid. Our guy gets really deep here and almost gets caught. And I believe we rotate towards him. So we're kind of stalling out. Irelia is pushing and we know that she has to have at least one or two there. Oh yeah, and I, I get that kill there. <laughs> I accidentally used my R because I didn't realize there was going to be that much follow-up damage. So I really puts down the ult, gets a slow. I'm still far back. I pick up a kill on Vi there. Um, I flash, I miss, but it's okay. We still put some good damage and the I really gets to pick up. So if you know that you're up in numbers, it's okay to turret dive like that if you guys can juggle the... Um, the turret aggro. I believe we take this tower. I'm 9-0 at this point. We have significantly more gold, more towers. We are way ahead of these guys. I want to say we get this. I think we get the inhibitor as well because we kill her. So she walks up way too far. And also, if you guys notice, every time I throw an E and I think it's going to kill, I wait for my teammates to do the most damage that they can, and then I pop it. Because I want that kill for myself. I once again try to block that. Alright, so we get the inhibitor. I don't think there's anything that we take after this. We back off. Let's see what I buy here. So I come back, and I buy the starting of a... I, I buy the starting of a Zhonya's. So Shiver's picking up some kills. I'm coming from top. This was a really nice play by me. Like, I think I can get him. I use my E to slow them. I hit him, kill one with my Ludens, and then walk up an auto attack. So I'm 12-0 at this point. We have our super spawning, and they're pushing towards their inhibitor, and then we pick up the dragon. So which, dra which dragon is this for us? This would be the third dragon, so it's set up for soul. I can't remember what we do after dragon, so we pick this up. I pick up blue, I buy my Zhonya's, and then I start working towards Void, I believe. Alright, so we start walking over towards Baron. Uh, we're positioning in front of it. Irelia is down here, but she does have TP. I think we just wanted to bait it. So I go up top to catch this wave. We want to see where they position. If they position far enough away and we can see them, we're going to start it. Yeah, see how my CS is falling off so hard, but I'm also 12-0. So I'm just here for, like, all the fights. That's something that I have to work on is my Lux is still making sure I CS. But like I said, this game is going to be tough with a Sivir I really in the game. So we start this. I tell them I'm a little worried because the, all of them are mid lane, at least so that we can see. We only see Caitlyn in bottom, and we didn't see Vi. But the Seraphine walks up alone. So she walks up alone, and that's, like, not good news for her. I really a TP's in. You see how far I'm back, like back I am. I'm still refusing to walk up. Vi, I, I know seeing Vi here, she's gonna want to ult on me because I have so much damage. So they start chasing. They get a pick here. I'm walking down, trying to follow up. Ari, I don't know what she's doing. So I, I tell the team, hey, stop chasing that kill. Let's just go get Baron. So we come over here. I don't think there are any more fights. We just take Baron, take it for free. We all back and reset, and I buy, I buy a blasting one. Yeah, so I'm going void. So we're we're, we're up here. We're moving in with the Baron. Um, we get pressure mid. They keep going mid, and I am continuing to push here. I think they get that inhibitor, and then they just come and adjust and move towards me. So we're thirteen and zero at this point. Yeah, they come top and help me push top because there are no other objectives. Plus, we have the Baron. All 
All right, so we push this down. I think we get another pick here. If I catch someone with my Q, it's basically game over for them. I think I tried to ult the Fiora here. I can't remember. Yeah, I think I killed her. No, I missed, okay. So they, they have a pretty good anti-siege comp with Seraphine, Caitlyn, um, and Ari. <laughs> the Caitlyn flashed at me there. I think this gives us the opportunity to just push it and take it. They can't really stop us anymore. Uh, I hit the R and she's for sure dead. Yeah, so I pick up my 14th kill here. I don't think we end. They try to chase us down and they can't really do too much. Yeah. Sivir gets picked up. I just back off here. We have the one inhibitor down. I don't know why I'm staying. I think I'm just greedy and getting cocky at this point. Trying to say, okay, I can take these kills. But then I recognize, like, this is dumb. So now we have Soul. We've managed to pick up Soul. I believe I just go back here. Let's look. Yeah, so I should go back and pick up my Void. Yeah, pick up a Void Staff. Um, I want to say we go bottom. I pick up blue. We group mid and then we go top here. <laughs> he tried to steal that from me. I mean, I guess I probably could have given it to him. Sivir doesn't like not need blue, but she doesn't really need blue either. This late in the game, I'm sure he has what essence. Oh, he doesn't have essence, he, but he has a mirror mana, so he's fine. He was just trying to troll me. That's one of my friends. Um, so we push down. I believe we get this inhibitor. I really is pushing here. I think I ult her. I missed. Okay, my ults were boosted at the end of the game, but I didn't really care. I do almost die here. So coming up, my team does a great job of keeping me alive. I, I push up too far by myself. Like, I get caught here. And I saw Nias. I'm super worried that I'm about to die. And I get the chance to live. I'm lucky. Um, Braum puts down the ult, and that's basically the game. I think I pick up one more here. I don't remember who I pick it up on. I pick it up on Caitlyn. I just backed up because I was super afraid of uh, dying. I wanted to keep the perfect score. So we end up winning the game. This is how I went perfect in a Clash Cup game. And then if we look here, <laughs> they get real mad. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, uh, wind show, okay. So anyway, they get really mad and they're like, nice smurf carry. <laughs> so the funny thing is I'm I'm not a smurf according to my, my rank. Um, we did play with one of the guys that is a higher rank. So we didn't know if they were talking about him or me because I had a perfect score. But anyway, we went 15, 0, and 14 in that game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Help share the mission. And that means you guys have 15 push-ups and 14 squats. Until next time, guys. Peace. Yeah.